my poor tree. Only the bottom lights are working, but I have a solution. I'm going to use these. I just need to get batteries in them. I just bought some batteries this weekend, so I just need to remember to bring them tomorrow. Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> it's recess time, it's like quarter to one. I have like two minutes to catch my breath. This day has been crazy. So I had no plan time because we had music practice. Now in first grade, we always just covered the other people's class. When it was your plan time, you still got your plan time. They don't do that in second grade. I did not know that. And I was planning on having my plan time. So that kind of threw a wrench in my plans. Yikes. So I've been scrambling all day to get things done, which is really hard. So of course I worked in my lunch, I'm working through recess. I don't have after school duty per se. I, I'm supposed to have late buses with another teacher. And I talked to her on Friday and I said, hey, I have late buses with you next week. And she goes, oh, don't worry about it. I've been doing it by myself. It's fine. And I'm like, are you sure? I'm going to check with her again because she may be feeling differently now. Who knows? But I may have time after school to get stuff done, which would be fantastic. Because if I lose out of my plan time on Wednesday too, that's two days out of five. And Fridays, I don't even count because they're so fast. So that would be a huge help if I don't have to do anything after school today. I will have to catch you up on what we've been doing later because it's just been a lot. I did show you the tree, the sadness, the sadness of the tree. The kids really enjoyed decorating it. For Rooted in Reading, we read Night Tree and we read the nonfiction book about the history of Christmas trees, which is cool because it ties into Germany. That's why I'm wearing trees today. And I will show you my outfit later when I can have time to back up and show you. But like I said, I'm kind of on the run today and my copier ran out of toner, so we couldn't copy stuff. And it was just like, ah! You know, on a Monday, that's not good when you need to print a lot of stuff for your intervention groups because we didn't switch till Friday after school. I do have this that I want to do with my kiddos. It's a strategy game. I just made a gingerbread man one with my gingerbread eraser clip art. And like I mentioned before, I can't share this, unfortunately, because it was based on an idea that was not mine. I have just taken the idea and made my own version of it. So as to not step on copyright or toes or anything or offend anyone, I cannot share that out with you, but you saw it. All you do is just, you can just put little objects on your page and play the game the way the strategy games are played. And I will direct you to Mr. Carbo at her Teachers Pay Teacher store because she has three different seasonal packs you can get and they're only like $5, I think. And you get a lot of them. So there's a fall, a spring, and a winter. That would be really, really good for, the winter would be good for right now because you'd have a Christmassy one and then you'd have some for like January, February. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at my lesson plans going, I can't get all this done. Yikers. So yeah, we didn't get to compare Night Tree and the, the interesting nonfiction thing about evergreen trees, but that's okay. We'll get to it tomorrow, I suppose. And we'll be talking about main idea this week. So they remember that from first grade. A lot of them were like, oh yeah, I remember that. So yeah, we have music practice twice tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually we have music class, then we have music practice. Now the teacher's really good about that, the music teacher. If you have like double music, she doesn't do music practice and then do music practice again. She'll have them do something fun for their actual specials time and then they'll go to regular music practice. So that'll be nice. So I'm hoping that we can get back on track after that. We won't need to do I Ready tomorrow because we're doing I Ready reading testing and tomorrow's my reading day for lessons. So we won't be doing reading lessons this week, but we are doing math lessons. So Monday and Wednesday math, Tuesday and Thursday, nothing. So tomorrow, since we have the music practice during my I Ready testing time slash lesson time, we won't even be doing that at all. And then Wednesday we'll do math, Thursday we'll do our diagnostic testing for whatever. I think it's three times a year, so this is our second round. So that ought to be interesting. And then um, we're going to be doing all things gingerbread. I haven't gotten a chance to put anything up. Sorry, I had a kiddo at my door. I sent her to the nurse because she had a tummy ache after lunch and they, she got Tums. Then she was at my door and I'm like, do you feel like going to recess? She's like, no. I said, here, let me have your coat. Why don't you go sit on the bench by the recess doors and I'll be down in just a few minutes because I need to go get them. But I want to go to the restroom first because I've gone once today. I'm sure you really need to know that. But teacher life, hardly ever get to go to the bathroom. And since I didn't have my plan time, I couldn't go all morning until lunch. Fabulous. So I didn't get to go till like 12.15. Ah, it's a long time, people. It's a long time from 7.30 to 12.15. Yep. I broke down and got myself a Coke right before I got the kids from lunch because I'm feeling like I need some extra caffeine. All right, I'm going to go and I'll try to catch back up with you later and let you know what else we've done and what we're going to plan to do. Hey friends, it's the end of the day and I end up having late bus duty. They actually haven't left yet, but the other teacher was like, you can go ahead and go. And I'm like, okay, but I'll come back. <laughs> 
So um, I just thought I'd show you my outfit real quick and I'm going to have to catch you up on what we did tomorrow because I just have no time. <laughs> so I told you I was wearing Christmas trees today. Let me back up so you can see everything. I have trees on my scarf, tree earrings. I have a green ring. I have black boots and my leggings look like this. Alrighty, I will back up so you can see everything. And if I have a chance, I'll try to jump back on and catch you up on what we did the rest of the day. Okay, the kids are lining up to go to the buses, so I think I will follow them to help the teacher out because she shouldn't have to be on her own. So I'll try to jump back in in just a little bit. I'm walking in the rain to the post office to check my heel box. So we'll see if there's anything interesting in there. So come along with me in the drizzly rain. It's beautiful out here. Ugh. Just a fee notice, so I need to pay for my box again. Woohoo, nothing exciting. Okay, now off to UPS. All right, going to the local drugstore to drop off this package of a broken thing from Amazon. They've already replaced it, but I need to return this one. Team, <laughs> close up. Just a minute, buddy, get back. Come on, sweetie. This is an every evening occurrence. I feed all the like nine or 11 cats that show up. I give them some dry food and I put a little bit of wet food on top. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold out here. I should have put my coat on, but whatever. So I give them some dry, like I said, and I give them a little wet and then I try to clean up all the cans I leave behind, but can't always do that because I don't always have enough hands free. So I'm going inside because it's really cold. But let me show you what they look like because they're cute. They're really cute and they're getting so big. All right, look at those cuties. They're getting so big. And these are the little tiny babies that we had in the summer that are big. I'm getting so big. They're bigger than mango. That is Olive. Let's see if I can find Sweetie. Oh, hi, Herbie. Hi, my baby. Yeah, he's my buddy. He was our first kitty baby. He and Freaky were that first litter that we rescued. Sweet boy, you're cold and wet, honey. You want some food? Uh, I'm gonna go get him another bowl because they blown off into the yard. See, hey sweeties. See, we've got, got some bowls in the yard. You need to go get them. Oh, back in the warm, it feels good. Goodness, those poor kitties. They gotta freeze out their toe beans. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's off the spoon so that, 
family can use it later. For me, though, and for the inside cats. Sorry, I'm washing my hands off because I got a little food in my hand. I thought I might tell you about my day. So, it was a little wackadoos. I told you earlier, I think, that I didn't have my planned time because of music rehearsal. Let me duck in here. That's dark. Okay, yes. So, <clears throat> music rehearsal. Didn't have planned time. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, after school, oh, light would be good. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay. Let me start over. <sighs> there. <laughs> Take a load off. Yes. Oh my goodness. Run, run, run. <sighs> that was our code word today, by the way. Run, run. Well, code words. I would say run, run. And the kids would say as fast as you can. So they earned stars for that. Did I put stars in the jar? I don't think I did. <laughs> But I did write them on the board, so I'll remember. We named our elf. I don't think I showed you classroom elf either. My gosh, I don't think I showed you anything. Holy moly. I may have. I don't know. We got a letter from the elf. Yeah. And it said we need to name her and that she's going to report to Santa every night. And she might leave us treats and stuff if we are good. Things like that. So I'll show you in the morning what she looks like and what she is leaving for the kids. So that can be just a morning routine, showing you what the elf looks like, because she's got different clothing as well. So I may do selfie with the elfie. <laughs> That'd be cute. Anyway, the kids all got to tell me what they wanted her to be named, each kid. So I wrote their names on the board that they wanted. Then I wrote them down on pieces of paper, and I cut them off in little strips. I mixed them around to a bucket, and I let my terrific kid pick the name out. So her name is Jeffrey. That's one of the kids said, I want Jeffrey. And I said, okay, you know, she's a girl, right? And he's like, yeah. I went, okay, that's fine. <laughs> because they're like, that's a boy's name. I'm like, he can pick whatever he wants. If he wants to name her garbage truck, I mean, that's his choice. Because everyone got to put their opinion on the board. Whatever they wanted her to be named, I put everybody's name up there. And then I said, oh, she needs a middle name. Because that's what we did last year. Because we ended up with Devia Sparks last year. <laughs> So we have Jeffrey Cassiopeia. <laughs> so I said, oh, JC, that's cute. So we're going to call her JC because Jeffrey Cassiopeia is going to be quite a mouthful to try to say all the time when we're talking about the elf. So she's JC now and not John Cena, doo, 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 but JC the elf, which will be super cute. And then one of the kids is like, oh, it's like JC, because I think we've had a student named JC before, like J-A-Y-C-E-E, -E, which is cute. Yeah, so late buses. Oh, I didn't get a chance to tell you the nightmare that that was. So we've been, sorry, Mango's playing over there. I thought she was ripping up the furniture. She's not been declawed, so we're having to watch her. Late buses. <clears throat> so we have a lot of kids in late buses because just there are a lot of kids. And of course, they're probably kind of squirrely because they're here later than most other kids. Early buses load at like 310. Late buses don't load to like 340. I'm not even kidding. So like, they have at least another half hour at school beyond anyone else. So that's a long day for those little kids. Generally, we'll just show them a video or a movie or something after school. And if it's a longer movie, then we'll just keep showing it until it's over. Late buses were in one of my team teacher's rooms down the hall. And I had asked her Friday, I mentioned this. Um, oh, I have late buses with you next week. Um, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, you don't have to come. I'm fine. I've been doing it by myself. And I'm like, okay. Well, today we had a, we had trouble in the line waiting to go into her room where one kid punched another kid in the face. And the kid that got punched happened to be one of my students. And he goes, Miss Bond, so-and-so punched me in the face. And all I said was, please don't cut in front of me. I was like, oh, well, knowing who the kid was, the kid's a special needs kid and he does kind of do things inappropriately. Apparently he'd had a very rough day and this was not his first punching incident. So he ended up going to the office so the other teacher ended up taking him because you can't just send a kid to the office when they've punched someone like that, especially this kid. You want to monitor him. So she ended up going down and I said, do you need some help? And she's like, yeah, can you just kind of listen to the kids? I'm like, sure. Well, we also have a kid that is not very honest and will take things. So he has to be watched with eagle eyes so he doesn't take things from the teacher's room because he will take everything. Yeah, he has issues with stealing, so we have to watch him very closely. Okay, so I'm watching him, and then one of my students was having problems being quiet during the movie. And I had said, please stop talking. We're trying to watch the movie. Shh. Just like a movie theater, you can't talk. And it was three of them that were talking all together. And 
I'd gone over and said, girls, you have to be quiet. You know, and I was nice. And as soon as I turned my back, the little kid that we can't really trust tries to do things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like five tenths of a second. And you're like up trying to get away with something. Oh my goodness. So it really would be good to have two people in there. So they were just showing their hiners today. Let me just be honest. They were showing their hiners in a big, bad way during late bus time today. Like the shenanigans and the nonsense were at a high, a very big high. And I was having none of it. I'm like, friends, this is not how we behave in the bus room. This is not how you do things. You know that. Come on, guys. Let's just enjoy the movie. I mean, they were watching The Grinch. Come on. Just so many problems. And I'm like, my friend, they kept talking. I said, okay, I want you to move over here and you please move over there. So I moved all three of the girls apart. And she was giving me attitude. She's like, I wasn't talking. I'm like, <laughs> excuse me? How about let's be kind with our words and not have an attitude and be respectful that a teacher is asking you to move. And it's your teacher that's asking you to move. So she did one of those very defiant, belligerent things where you say, sit right here, and they sit like next to that spot, and you're like, no, keep going, you're not quite there yet. And they just keep doing it, and keep doing it, and keep doing it until you just wanna punch the wall, <laughs> because you're just like, mm, child, you're wasting my life. Ugh. And meanwhile, you know, the other kids are like, oh, trying to get away with stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, kids. I'm sorry, but I did not sign up to be a prison guard. I did not. That's not what I signed up for when I started becoming a teacher. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I want to be. It's not what I want my job description to be. I don't want to be a prison guard. And I feel like that's my job sometimes, being a prison guard or a prison warden. And I'm like, no, friends, can we just, like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of gripey today because of that. Because the end of the day was not good. Not good at all. Okay. I just filmed a little bit and it was too ranty and I'm just not going to, I'm not going to air it because I think I just need to vent <laughs> a little bit. So I'm not even going to, not even going to put it on here because it was just a lot of griping and I'm just not that person. So I just had to get it off my chest. I feel like I told you, but I'm not going to burden you with it. Basically the gist was we have to deal with a lot of behavior issues and without a lot of repercussions for the kids and they need to be called on their crap. That was the gist of what I was going to say. I'm not going to argue with a child whether they did something or didn't. They know they did. I'm not even going to go there because it's another way for them to manipulate you. <laughs> so <laughs> don't get caught into a battle with a seven or eight year old. It's not worth it. It's really not. It just makes you look like a dork. So, you know, you just go inside your head going, Whoa, I just want to, you know, <laughs> Christmas is coming, friend. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, happiness. <laughs> well, late bus is not an enjoyable place. Not really, no. Yeah, so I'm really happy to be home amongst my calm, peaceful environment with kitties that don't talk back, generally. <laughs> if you have cats, you know what I mean. They do talk back in a little way. They go, Meow. you know, and you're like, whoop, nope. <laughs> but anyway, so let's see. I'm trying to think what I didn't get to tell you before. I think I figured out the situation with my tree not lighting up is the fact that some of it needs to be plugged into itself. Because now that I think about it, you know, when you put an artificial tree together, it has different sections. My tree is short enough. It only has two. has the bottom and the top. And when I put the top on, I didn't plug the top into the bottom. So that's probably why it didn't light up. So I think I can fix that issue tomorrow. I didn't get a chance to put any more stuff out in the room that I wanted to. So I'm going to have to try to go early tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know because I cannot get my daughter to get out of here any earlier and I have no time to do anything when that's the case. So I may just have to take two cars tomorrow, possibly just so I can get stuff done because I feel woefully behind, like more so than usual. <sighs> yeah. I think my Christmas light came today though. The tree, the tree light that I showed you probably two days ago. Ow. You ever sit down and then you get up and you're like, ah, I feel like an old person. I think it might be in this. Shall we open it and see? I think we should. Let me put you down for a minute. Down over here. And we'll just see what's in here. Because I don't even know. There's more than one package. So. A 
tis. Tis said tree. Ta-da! Oh, it's so cool. Here it is. Okay, I know when I was talking about getting this. Get it out. And, uh, oh, some assembly required. All you do is put it in the base. <laughs> Not a big deal. I said it came with a USB cord. There it is. Cool. And you're going to need to put three, I believe, double A batteries in here. Yeah. No big because this girl got some at the store yesterday. I was trying to figure out where I put them. Hmm. I will find them. I'll be right back. Ah, so yay me. They were just across the kitchen on the other counter. Okay, let's see if I can not ruin this packaging. There goes Onyx. She's hungry. Okay, so you know how you can, like, do the perforation? I'm terrible at this. I always rip the package open, so we'll see. Probably going to stab myself. Oh, there it is. There's the thing. Oh, there we go. Aha. Maybe. Well, I thought I was onto something, but whatever. Does it really matter, though? Okay, that works. Okay. Put the batteries in. Sorry. We'll put the batteries in, and you can see this bad boy light up. All right. Let's see if I can do this without electrocuting myself. I don't really think that's a possibility. <laughs> All right. Da -da -da. Oh. Well. <clears throat> Maybe. Hokey dokey. Now, let's attach said tree to said base. That's the way it goes. Doesn't appear to. Well, yes, it does. Yes. Bumpy parts need to match other bumpy parts. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Mango's having a good old time getting into stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, ooh, look at cool. It's a, hey, I look like the witch from Wicked. <laughs> Or the Grinch. <laughs> it's a Grinch light. Look at that. That's really creepy, people. Look at my eyes. Oh, that's weird. Ew. <laughs> that was freaky. That's awesome, though. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so detach said light. So said light can go back into said packaging to go to said classroom. I told the kids, I said, tomorrow we'll have a new light in here. And one kid goes, what is it, what is it? I said, I don't know, you'll have to wait and see. It's like, I bet it's a snowman or a snowflake or whatever. And I was like, I think I put it in backwards. I'm like, yeah, maybe. There we go. Okay, important safety tip. You gotta put the, the skinny end on top to make room for the base to fit in the top. All right, so I'm gonna put the USB in here. Pack it all back up. Okay. Oh, and I needed lights for my pineapples. I'm just going to take the whole thing, probably. Okay. I don't even know what this is. Let's just see. It's kind of like Christmas. Oh, my dreidels came. Cool. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of clay. I don't know the rest of the song. Sorry, that's all I remember from, I don't even know where I learned that. What is this? Okay, this is my bill from my P.O. box. I don't wanna lose that. You ever start to open a package and they go, ooh, I probably should have checked to make sure it was actually mine, which I mean, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Jeremy Michael book look that I just got. Thank you. <laughs> Too many tamales. I heard you talking about this last year and I should have gotten it then, but I just didn't. But this year I was like, okay, I'm getting this book. I keep hearing everybody rave about it, like on Instagram. And of course you raved about it this year and last year. So I'm like, I'm jumping on the tamale bandwagon. I like tamales. There you go. So yay, got that book too. Sweet. Put that there. Whoops. Onyx, honey, really? <laughs> I think she's trying to tell me something. That's not my job. That's Caitlin's job. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I have all this packaging. I wish you could recycle all this stuff. You might be able to. All right. Okay. 
So from all of this came a book, a package of dreidels, and a little light. It's too bad they couldn't have all shipped in the same packaging, huh? Oh well, can't want them all, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put my stuff together so that, oh, Onyx, it's being mean to Boo. She's like nipping at her. She's doing that thing where you're not yourself when you're hungry. She's getting hangry. <laughs> that must be, she's getting hangry. All right. Oh my gosh. I feel like such a hot mess today. Ugh. Okay. I don't know what else I'm going to say. So I think I got the weirdest angles. Okay. So last year I did, <laughs> here she comes again. <laughs> she's making another round. Hi, Onyx. Say hi. Hi. Onyx. Hi, pretty baby. Yeah. My girl, aren't you? She's so funny. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, last year's Vlogmas, I started doing a Christmas carol at the end of each vlog. I was thinking about starting that when there are like 12 days left. It'll be like the 12 carols of Christmas because right now I'm just not feeling it because I'm just tired and feeling crummy. But and my voice is kind of blah. But I thought if you want me to do that again, I would like to because I love to sing. But I having to do one every day for like 25 days is a lot, but I could do 12 days. So the 12 carols of Christmas, if anybody else wants to join me, like Kofubali, Emma Jean, if you want to join me and do the 12 carols of Christmas, you're welcome to do it. Anybody else wants to join me, that'd be cool. We could start it on, be the 13th, right? Those 12 would be 25, right? I don't know if you'd want to do one on Christmas day. That's the only thing. Maybe one, we, eh, maybe. We would want to start it the day before. Say hi. See, I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you see the look I got? He was like, oh my gosh. Aw, are you sleepy? You sleepy boy. Hey, bud. You my baby. That's my baby. My baby chudes. Okay, I'm going to quit whining, rambling, whatever you call whatever I've been doing the last 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna get my coffee, change into my jammers, and figure out what I need to do, really, <laughs> to get myself back together again. Hi, I'm feeling a little better. I'm in the bathroom getting ready for bed and I had some coffee. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little more human. My husband just called to say he was on his way home. Yay, I'm gonna change into my jammies. I still got my regular clothes on. And I wanted to show you my nails because I totally forgot. So these are my new nails. These are the Kiss Impress brand. I don't know if you can tell, but this nail is sparkly gold. Very, very shimmery. There we go. Getting a little shimmer there. The lighting in here is not the most fabulous, but it's better than some other places. There you go. So just thought I'd show you my new, my new do's. It's new Manny Monday. So there you go. And now I'm going to go for real. I'll see you tomorrow.